Got no time to waste. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's just a big ass sledgehammer. There's no, it doesn't make excuses. I am what I am. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Igor for Gaming. Awesome. Today we're playing Dying Light on the PlayStation 4. Before we do anything else, I want to show you guys an awesome freaking Easter egg that I just found accidentally um, at the end of the last episode right after I stopped recording. So there's two ways to zip down from this broadcast tower. There is um, this way, which I think think will lead us directly to our tunnel or there is this way and I by accident went ahead and I zipped down all the way uh, here kind of out of the way I thought I was going the right way but apparently I wasn't but it was a lucky accident that I did go the wrong way because after you jump up here one more time and you whoop, maybe if I can oh Jesus come on man all right let's see if I could do that okay cool I grapple hooked up. Usually it'll just let you jump up. Not really sure why it's being finicky now, but here we go, guys. We are now in this completely isolated area. I'm actually not really sure what is down there, but I saw this little door icon come up, and I was like, what the hell is that? I gotta go freaking try to look for it. All right, guys, took some maneuvering, but I finally got back up here. Let's see if I can finally show you this Easter egg. So if you go all the way down here, don't want to fall, though. I think you actually have to get all the way up there. So let's see if we can do that real quick. Yes, this is definitely the way you do it. You have to kind of fall down right there. The flower. That's what we are looking at. As soon as you go and use this flower, the flower is actually the doorway that you see on the map. As soon as you go in here, you get to play Plants vs. Zombies! That's right! There is a Plants vs. Zombies Easter egg where you, where you can actually play Plants vs. Zombies in Dying Light. Look at this. The, uh, the watermelon, I believe, right here that are set up. They shoot things to uh, freeze the zombies. I actually played this a little bit off screen. I don't know if you can, if you're able to play through the whole entire match more than once. What happens is you um, you actually fight through waves of enemies, which is really cool. You start seeing these guys, and then you uh, get you actually get zombies with um, that have the uh, what are they? The like the flotation devices that are around them, so the patented zombies with the cones on their heads, you get the zombies with the flotation devices, you also get these little guys. Luckily, I have a little bit of footage from the first time I played it, because I think you can only play it once. So you'll get these little guys right here. I'm gonna show you. Look at these! Look at these bastards! They're so freaking cute! They're so tiny! Why are they so freaking small? Oh my god, imagine if there was a zombie apocalypse, but... Everyone that turned into zombies turn into actual miniature zombies? How freaking amazing would that be? That would be the cutest zombie apocalypse of all freaking time. <laughs> I didn't even know how they have money on them. I could search them and pick up money off their bodies. That must be the heaviest dollar bills of all time. Money's too heavy! I was gonna go buy them something from the McDonald's dollar menu, but I can only carry <laughs> these 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, anyway guys, um, you can also collect these flowers right here They actually count towards uh, crafting items you got These you can't collect the uh, the watermelon, but you can collect the flowers and you can collect the mushrooms And it is a little bit practical. It's not just for fun the first time if you go through and play this at nighttime you're actually gonna get a lot of experience points because one disadvantage of hunting zombies or trying to leveling up, trying to level up during nighttime in the open world is you're going to get um, you're going to get spotted by the uh, I believe they're I, I don't know what they're actually called but the night runners and while you're trying to take out regular zombies the night runners are going to be on your ass and they usually kill you right away so that's kind of a controlled area where especially if you visit it during the nighttime especially for the first time. 
because um, you're able to play through all of the waves the first time around. <laughs> you can level up pretty quickly. I actually went ahead and I leveled from level 17 and to 18 just by beating all the waves. I believe it's either three or four or five waves or something like that. But uh, yeah, pretty cool Easter egg. Definitely stumble upon that very luckily. And uh, definitely wanted to show it to you guys before we continue on this main quest. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and make my way straight to the tunnel. Because my ass has overstayed its welcome around here. Clearly everything around here wants to kill me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for rating and all of your awesome daily support. Um, if you guys keep uh, giving these videos the support, I will keep uploading them daily for you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to the tunnel. All right, dudes, here we are. We've gotten to the tunnel. I'm not really sure what to expect around here. I'm not expecting to fight anything large because I just fought those two uh, demolishers maybe an episode or two ago, but I don't know. Who the hell knows? Here we go. I'm actually going to try to do something I haven't been doing at all in this game. I'm going to try to avoid the zombies just for fun, just to see how much I can get away with yeah. without actually Nothing fighting them. Wrong with this plan. Because I've been fighting everybody for like the last hour of gameplay. Even when I didn't have to. So let's see if... For example, if I didn't have these awesome weapons. How much of this can I actually get away with just by... Oh, jumping on their heads! Oh my god! Like a Mario and their Koopa Troopas! Oh, come on dude, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay! Jesus! That was unlucky. Oh, there's two of them! God damn it! Oh, that's tough, man. That's freaking tough. I think this is... Oh my god! That's an explodey one! That's an explodey one! Oh shit! He's after me! He wants to explode me so bad! Where are you? Did he do it? Did he explode prematurely? Like they usually do? I think they did. Ooh, the screams! The screaming! I don't like the screaming! Why do they always have to yell at me? Why can't you guys be a little bit more polite and stop yelling at me? Okay. Those are the Night Runners. What are they called? They're called, uh... Luckily, I cannot open this door, and hopefully they can't either. They're called, what, what, virals or something like that? I, I don't know. It's something that starts with a V, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's hope they don't see me and they can't get over that um, barricade right there. All right, dude. Yeah, you keep swatting at that pile of dead bodies. That's all you. I want nothing to do with that. Don't you worry about it. That's all yours. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, keep swatting at it, bro. Something's going to happen if you keep doing it. I promise. Oh shit, no, 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 no! God damn it! Ooh. No! This sucks! Alright, so over the truck then. Over the truck? Because that's. That's my last idea. Nice! Look at that! I'm playing a pacifist freaking run right here. Oh, that's not good. That is never a good combination! Live. stripped wires and water pools? That sounds great. I'll have that. It looks like... It says I can go in here? Hold to slums. Huh. Okay. So I guess this is an area that I can basically use as a shortcut to the slums. But I don't need to go to the slums right now. Although I kind of want to go back. There are a couple of side missions that I think I didn't complete back there. But it's all good. Eventually I will get to it. Let's just go with the plan right now and keep going to Old Town. And swim through the... Come on, man. This water's got to be infected, right? Seriously, dude. Like, even... Like, your face has to be just covered in diseases right now. <laughs> even if it's not zombie virus. Just how do you not get sick after just swimming in this? I don't understand. Ah. Uh... Immune system too strong! The man, the myth, the legend, Crane. Oh shit, that was it! We got it, guys! I got a message out to the world, and just in time. The Ministry's bombers peeled off and left. But then the GRE contacted me. Seems they want me to get Dr. Zera's research together and give it to them, so they can convince the world they've been working on a cure instead of a way to profit off people's misery. Fuck that, I've got other plans. Awesome! I love when Crane talks to me that way. <laughs> I feel that fire. A fire burning in his heart.
that passion yes. to do good. What the hell was that? Dr. Who the hell's Camden, yelling? This is Kyle Crane, can you hear me? I can hear you. Are you on your way? I'm ready to work. Just bring me the samples. That's exactly what I intend to do, Doc. Just remember, I'm surrounded by an army of infected. Yeah, affirmative. Expect me soon. Good. Not like I'm going anywhere. Nice. Okay. I will definitely take your sacrificial short sword. I actually think I can modify it with the same uh, modifier that I have right now for this awesome katana weapon. I do kind of want to find a better machete or a better sword. I want to see if I can craft, like, a weapon with damage 500. That'd be freaking badass. What the hell is this? Why is there a little door icon here? Clearly, oh, I guess it, whatever, that just shows me that there's an entrance to the sewer. I do not need to go there. That's where I just came from, but thank you so much for giving me the option. You are so helpful. Grappling hook! I'm Batman, bitch! Okay. Just going to do what I've been doing the entire time. And avoiding all of the enemies and making my way straight for the objective. Because honestly, I don't really... I probably could have beat the game at like level 10, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So, here... Upgrading even further is just freaking overkill. Now at this point, I just feel bad for the zombies. Hey, what's up? Speaking of feeling bad for them, I'm a pacifist until I sneak up on you and snap your freaking neck like a Cheeto, motherfucker. Dangerously cheesy. Okay, all right, gonna keep going. For some reason, I feel like this guy that we're talking to I don't know what Camden, I think his name is. It's something like that. I feel like he's evil. I really feel like he's evil. I feel like he's either working for the GRE or he's working for Rice or something like that. And um, something's going to go terribly wrong once we actually uh, hand off Zera's research to him. But maybe I'm just paranoid. But can you blame me? Literally everything around here wants to kill me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I could just do a rock slide! Oh shit! Oh my god! Well, hello to you too! Is that how you say hello to everybody that's visiting your house? You son of a bitch! What the fuck was that? Hey, you must be Crane. Yeah, I can see you through the security cameras. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. Use the elevator. Push the button for the bottom floor. Got it. The bottom floor? That wouldn't happen to be the sewers, right? I have want nothing to do with that. Is this the elevator? I think it is. Calling all elevators. Yo, that dude threw a throwing knife at me so fast. Holy shit, he was some sort of superhero. And I clearly crashed his party. Maybe he was just overestimating my, I don't know, resistance to throwing knives. Maybe that's how he says hello. Negative one? Seriously? That's bullshit. That would totally say B or something for basement. Negative one. With Zara's research, Dr. Camden might actually have a chance to develop a cure. That was it? Are you serious? Thanks so much for the insight, Crane. You are a man of wisdom, but very few words. Oh, shit. Here we go, guys. I was sad to hear about Dr. Zara. He and I were thrilled to get the chance to study the Haran virus. And not to mention, the GRE paid us quite handsomely. Oh, by the way, we're on backup power now, so we have minimal functionality. I needed extra power for my last experiment, and the generators overheated and shut down. Okay, so all good news then. Perfect. Yo, this fucking elevator actually works! I actually got into an elevator, and nothing bad. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Spoke too soon. So I've been opening elevator doors like this I, uh, a long time. You don't mind me reminiscing out loud like this. It's, uh, it's been quite a number of weeks since I've had the prospect of talking to an actual live human in person. Yeah, so I've been opening elevator doors like that for a really long time without something jumping out at me. Yo, this motherfucker just moved! I saw you! So I'm- oh my god, so I'm definitely expecting something to jump out at me. Like the very next elevator door I unlock. Oh my god, this weapon is too powerful, it really is. 
I feel too safe with this thing, man. I really do. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm just standing behind you uncomfortably waiting for you to get up so I can snap your neck. You guessed it. <laughs> you was right. Okay, Walter. Walter's somewhere around here. Very upset. Very upset the zombies don't do meth. <laughs> oh my god, you take off that guy's head. Take off his helmet, and it's actually Walter. He's not a zombie. He's just really upset. He's got nothing left, man. This whole drug empire is going down the chitter. Okay. Still going this way, or what? Oh, uh, and the door leading to the main corridor can only be opened manually. You'll, uh, you'll have to get to the security room and throw the switch. On my way. Yes! Yes, this is how we communicate now. Through swipes. Uh... What am, what am I doing here? Am I going up? Oh, shit. That's never a good sign. Dude, welcome to freaking Outlast. It's exactly what it reminds me of. Right? What is that? Ew! What? Oh, that's, I mean, that's definitely a rat or a mouse, but that doesn't look good. Looks like a, a leopard. A leopard mouse. Hello? Hello? Okay, cool. Shit, man, I just don't even... Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck is that? What was that? Was that another rat? A rat! The biggest rat you've ever seen! Alright. You know what? Why do I feel like I'm about to get rushed by like thousands of rats? Zombie rats. That's what's missing! Oh shit! Oh, and jump scares. And can jump scares. Just for that, sir. Meet my knee. Oh, god damn it. Well, I wasn't ready. I should have been ready, but I wasn't ready. A dude wasn't ready for my knee to his face. So it's fine. It makes us even. Oh, key card. Awesome. Scorzies. That dude was just trying to show me where the key card was. <laughs> he jumped the gun. He was just excited. He hasn't seen a person for a while. Okay. Right, now go down the main corridor. The lab is on the left. Bring in Sarah and I stayed in the quarantine oh. for the cure. You know who was supposed to protect us? Kadir Suleiman. Rise himself. <laughs> that worked out just perfectly. Okay, alright. Okay, the only way into the lab is through the decontamination room. The entrance is to the right. Everything oh shit! After Rise's brother died, you know. Rise went from a guy with monstrous tendencies to a full blown monster. Okay, I appreciate story time right now, but. I really could use, like, I don't know, something, man. Why doesn't this guy just come to me? Is he locked inside or something? Oh, that's not good. That is definitely not good. Want nothing to do with that. Let's just avoid that, please. You'll have to run the decontamination protocol to unlock the doors. It won't work without full power, though. That's where the generators come in. Head to the offices. Once you're there, I'll point you in the right direction. All right, I'm on it. Zara and I got to safety with the help of a GRE operative, a man very similar to you. Okay. The operative who helped us was supposed to evacuate alongside us, but you can uh, guess how well that worked out. Since Sarah and I both got stuck here. Oh, be extra careful now. I never cleared the infected from that part of the facility, as I've never had reason to go in there. Can you go in here, maybe? I can open the door, but I don't even think that's even gonna freaking help me. How the hell do I get inside? Shit, man. It's gonna make me go exactly where this is, all the zombies are. I know it. There we go. Okay. I Wasn't too bad. From the two of them, but uh, I made it here to this clinic. I, I really had no other option than to work on finding a cure. What? Opening the door. Dude, I have no idea how you just missed me there. Oh, here we go. Oh, thanks for opening the door. I appreciate it. Could have waited for my freaking go. Well, I've been able to get to them. 
<laughs> nice. Uh, I'm sorry about this, but the only way to get to the generator room is through the ventilation shafts. The shafts lead to the stock room, and from there you can reach the hallway and then the generators. Dude, how the hell do you know that? I mean, I guess you got, you got cameras all over the place. Shit! Got a lot of fucking angles, that means. Come on, man, stay down. Oh, shit! Oh, God! Oh, that's one of those guys that explode! The range on those guys is ridiculous! Alright, well, just going to completely avoid that. Thank you! I've had enough! I've had enough! You guys are no use to me right now! Do not need your experience points that hides inside of your bodies for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe those cannibals that live in those tiny tribes in Africa were right. Maybe there's something to killing people and consuming their bodies to get upgrades. Don't try this at home. Don't trust everything the video games tell you. Or tiny tribes in Africa for that matter. Okay. Shit, man. Okay. All right, well, I have no choice but to climb over this guy, it looks like. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I hope you don't mind getting real close and personal. Because I have no choice. That's a fudging demolisher right there. Oh, I don't like that at all. Can I maybe, like, take him out? Oh, you know what? Maybe not. Forget it. Maybe I'll be able to circumvent him completely, but probably not. Honestly. Let's just be honest here. If he's there, I'm probably eventually gonna have to freaking fight him. Uh, no idea where I'm supposed to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and grapple hook over there. Just because I can. That's how awesome this grappling hook is. Uh, over there? That looks like a good place. Huh. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to go over there? Alright. Let's... Oh, my God! Glitching out. Glitching out. God damn it. Just don't fall. Just don't fall on the ground. That's where all the bad guys are. Bad guys. They're bad guys. Oh. Okay. Door. 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 Of course it doesn't work. Why the... F would I even try? Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to get back up there somehow. Please. I need something I can actually stand on! <laughs> My god, I'm like fucking Superman. This is awesome. <laughs> even if, even if uh, that wasn't very effective, that was a lot of fun. Huh. Okay. So, I mean, it looks like I have to go there. That's what it looks like. I feel like I was right. Oh, wait. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, that's what I was saying. It looks like that's where I have to go, but it's being blocked, so... Alright. Had to activate... the little truck. Alright, that works. Okay, alright. Those fucking brutes, man. They're not... They're not messing around. Oh, let's see if, I never use these things. Let's see if these even work. Okay, I'm stuck on something. I'm literally stuck on something. I cannot get past it. Are you serious? I could get past, like, everything else. All right. Let's try to get rid of it. Oh, my God. Look, it didn't work. It totally didn't work. Should I... Oh, he should have exploded, right? Hit it, bro. Let the barbecue begin. Come on, man. Everyone's here. They're waiting for you to explode it. <laughs> Thank you. How else are we going to make burgers if you don't start the fire with the tank? Come on, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking one for the team. Now, everyone, enjoy your delicious zombie virus-infested burgers. Shit. Really? And don't ask for hot dogs. We ran out of hot dogs a long time ago. Bam. Okay, that worked. Any other guys? Okay, there's one more Walter right there, but... Probably just going to... I have to do this again? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably not even going to go over there. Cool. Rock slide! So 
time to rock, guys. It's time to and rock. Huh? Okay, well, I definitely don't want to go there. No. Come on, man. <laughs> Got too excited. He can't stop climbing. Once you start crane, he can't stop. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. That worked. I didn't even know that. I literally just learned that that, that mechanic exists in the game. You could break open windows? I don't think I've ever done that before. Alright. You learn something new every day, I guess. Damn, that's a serious fucking generator. Oh, shit. Do we'll I have to do this in some sort of order? Is this a puzzle? And I hope two is enough. Oh, no, we're good. Good job. All right, now head back to the decontamination room. You know, I suspect even if Sarah had been able to leave the quarantine, he wouldn't have. He and the operative both felt the need to stay and help people. Oh, my God. I do not want to go that way. I really don't. Okay, you know what? I've been holding out on this for a while. But this definitely looks like a good time to craft some freaking grenades. Because I'm definitely going to need some freaking fireworks. And I'm not talking about fireworks. No shit's a weak ass. <laughs> no, I'm talking about actual exploding grenades. So I could try to fight that freaking demolisher from a distance. Because... That dude is gonna fucking try to give me a hug. And I cannot handle his manly hugs. He just doesn't know when to stop, man. It's tragic. Okay, alright. So, let's switch the grenades. And then... Throw it! Throw it, man, throw it! Yes! Oh, that worked, that worked, that worked! Shit! Come on, Walter! Damn it! Oh shit, that was awesome. Oh my god, for some reason he's not even getting close to me. That's fine. I'm not gonna complain. Oh god. Okay guys, here we go. Ooh, shit! 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 Okay. Nice! He's too stupid to go around the barrel. Stupid! Alright, I really hope. Oh my god! God, it's serious right now. Get it's serious right now. Oh, God. Oh, he got me. He got me with that hard right. Holy shit. Oh, God. Please, get out of here. Okay, wait. Actually, I think I might be able to stab his knees or something. Oh, my God. That reach is too strong. Is that even hurting him at all? These grenades. It doesn't even seem to be doing anything. Come on, it's right between your legs. <laughs> how do you even work out? How, how, what the fuck? How do you even work out that part of your body to be resistant to grenades? My God, that's completely useless. I, I have no idea what to do. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to take this tank. I'm going to try to use it to my advantage here. Throw it. Hopefully it goes there. Okay. Yes, perfect. That does nothing. That does nothing. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, all right. Time to start craft because I literally need to go out there right now. He's blocking my only path to uh to my objective. This is bullshit. I wasted so many grenades on him too. Those precious chemicals, man. Those precious chemicals. We'll find those every day. Yes, perfect. <laughs> what an asshole this guy is. All right, well, I do not need that sledgehammer because the sledgehammer, as we've tested before. Oh, <laughs> look, it looks like. Oh, no. He looks like he's either a tiny baby learning to crawl for the first time or he's crawling for help. It looks like he just got stuck in that position after he got hit by a freaking huge nuclear explosion or something. Okay. And should be one more for Walt. Oh god, what's happening? What is that? Stop it! Stop exploding. I really don't like it. Alright, cool. Here we go. Another key card. Oh, 
Please tell me there's no other demolishers here. Pretty please? I wasted too many chemicals on that one. Probably could have went around him and not even killed him. Uh, push the button by the door to begin the process. I really thought those grenades were going to be more useful. All right, here we go. Oh, these guys are in trouble. These guys are about to have a really bad day. Hopefully this works. Oh, wow. It's freaking foggy in these labs. Holy shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're getting attacked by invisible bees. Swarms of invisible bees inside of the fog. Someone help them or don't. I ain't gonna complain. Complainizzle. Okay. I think they're dead, bros. I think they're dead. You can open the door now. I, mean, I guess I could search these guys, but... I'm really not dying for any more money or items or anything like that. The only thing I really care about are really, really badass weapons that are more powerful than the current machete I have. Otherwise... Oh, and chemicals. But you don't really find those on dead bodies. Alright, here we go. Trying to find out if this guy's a freaking evil maniac or not. Hello? Crane. Glad to be finally shaking hands with you. Now, let's have those tissue samples, shall we? Doc, you mind if I show you a photo? No, 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 just, just, just one minute. He's like, I don't want to see your fucking Facebook crane. <laughs> Trying to save humanity. All right, we'll just let that run. That's going to take quite a while. Now, what, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Hey. That's him. That, that, that's the GRE operative I was telling you about. What's his name? Amir. Yes, yes, Amir Goreshi. What are you doing with a picture of him? We, uh, we had a mutual friend. The samples are still viable. That's good. With some luck, your trip here won't have been for nothing. Uh, where's the rest of the data, by the way? I know Zara prepared two packages. Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that, Doc. Right now I have some GRE shitheads to confront. GRE? Brain, you watch yourself around them. Their public face is a lie of epic proportions. Those people are all heartless, lying bastards. I hear you, Doc. And thanks. I'll be in touch. Um, didn't both of us used to work for them? Technically, both of us used to be GRE. Is that a little bit of foreshadowing? That he's a lying, heartless bastard? I don't know. I guess we'll find out later, guys, if we are about to get betrayed on an epic scale but anyway thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for rating and truly appreciate your support if you guys want to see more of these videos daily please give this video a like i'll see you guys in the next one hey you yeah you thanks for watching an awesome gaming awesome video now click on another video on the screen right now and watch that one too go ahead i'll wait